It is a really special event that was such a bummer. It was canceled last year because of the pandemic. It's so nice to see it back. But you do have to remember to bring a sweater or jacket <laughs> to Stern Grove. I won't send out that warning, but exactly. it's worth it. Hopefully by then we're out of this really breezy weather pattern. It's just the way things are positioned in the atmosphere around us. It's been producing this consistently windy weather pattern with the atmosphere getting squeezed in between a system offshore that's just kind of been parked there for the past 24 to 48 hours in an area of high pressure, more atmosphere over the desert southwest. We've got one more cool and breezy day ahead of us tomorrow, then things aren't going to change dramatically, but the upper levels of the atmosphere are going to rearrange themselves just a little bit, allowing for a gradual warming trend to start to kick in Thursday and Friday with back to near normal temperatures Saturday and Sunday. It's still breezy out there this evening. The sustained winds are in the 15 to 25 mile an hour range. It's definitely an onshore wind, part of why temperatures are cool. It's also the presence of that storm system farther up the coast, keeping temperatures below average, especially away from the water. And there are some higher gusts out there as well. Up to 30 mile an hour gusts with the top of the hour in Napa, 33 miles an hour Fairfield, the windiest spot. Ooh, uh, Palo Alto just took over at 38 miles an hour for that strongest gust at the moment. So both hands in the wheel as you're driving out and about this evening. Blue skies overhead. We had some low cloud cover to start the day. It backed up towards the coast quickly. Temperatures, though, really did not respond to the sunshine. This time of year, it is not unusual at all to see at least a 30, if not 35 to 40 degree difference between the coast and far inland parts of the Bay Area. Today, only a 13 degree difference between San Francisco at 60 degrees and Fairfield at 73 degrees. Below average temperatures across the board, just farther below average, the farther away from the water you get. Still just 70 degrees right now in Fairfield. Almost everybody else is in the 60s except Half Moon Bay, back down to 57 degrees at the moment. 64 degrees at SFO, while downtown the temperature has dropped to 58 degrees. So we head through the rest of tonight. We are going to see some of that fog and low cloud cover trying to develop as the winds calm down, mainly after midnight. But once again, it's going to back up towards the coast very quickly should see plenty of sunshine by about 10 o'clock in the morning but once again that sunshine really isn't going to be able to warm our temperatures up a whole lot mid to upper 40s to around 50 degrees for most of our low temperatures later on tonight this is slightly below average especially in the north bay valleys dipping all the way down into the low 40s by early tomorrow morning and then high temperatures tomorrow a good six to eight degrees below normal around the bay but closer to 10 to 15 degrees below normal farther inland only up to around 70 degrees for san jose and concord Look at those averages in the upper 70s and low 80s but that's where we're going to be back to by Saturday and Sunday. So enjoy the cooler weather while it's here. It's not going to last too much longer. Temperatures in the mid to upper 50s along the coast, 60s down the peninsula and around the south end of the bay, with temperatures within a degree or two on either side of 70 for the Santa Clara Valley, just short of 70 degrees in San Jose. Mid to upper 60s for the Tri-Valley, definitely on the cool side, only around 70 for Pleasant Hill and Concord, with temperatures barely above 70 degrees east of the Diablo Range and into the Delta on Wednesday. Around the bay, right around 60 degrees in San Francisco with low mid 60s for the east bay mid to upper 60s for most of the north bay but unusual to not even see anyone in the north bay getting up to 70 degrees until you head a little farther inland farther north well at least cloverdale you're going to hit 70 degrees but i think even around windsor and st helena you're going to fall short of 70. temperatures start to warm up inland thursday and friday more of a modest warming trend around the bay and along the coast and then back to near normal temperatures saturday and sunday and that trend will continue monday and tuesday it does look like a more substantial warm-up is in store as we head into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. That's something we'll keep an eye on in the long term. And anytime we get warmer temperatures, you know we have to keep an eye on the fire threat. We'll talk about where that stands right now coming up at 6 o'clock. All right, Paul, thank you.